Someone on Etsy requested a, a really big piece not long ago. Like, a piece that would cost thousands of dollars. I was like, shit, I, I wish I had a big, <laughs> a big piece. So, I'm gonna probably gonna cut, cut all this frayed stuff off and sand it down so much. Most of my pieces are root systems. Like, they came from, it has to have like twists and turns and a really cool grain. It's kind of like w what I feel when I see pieces of driftwood. Like I'm looking, I'm looking at it, I'm thinking like, it's almost like, does this thing have a story? Or does it not have a story? If it just works right for me, I'll just, I'll keep it. And if it don't, I'll throw it away. Like I've said before, I've went to beaches that had like a thousand pieces of driftwood and I didn't, like I just searched through it and I didn't find anything, but then I'll go to a beach and kayak and there's like one piece of driftwood on the beach and that's the piece. And this is my high-tech photo booth with the uh, latest in uh, photo booth technology. <laughs> this piece of caramel with uh, wax paper. But man, it works, man. I guess it's like still movement is a is important in a lot of these pieces to me. Like I feel like each piece is a, some sort of character and I wanted to give the impression that they're alive, so they're moving, you know? Abstract art is not for everybody, I know that. It's not for most people, maybe. Like, you know, guys at work, I work with tradesmen, they look at something like this and they're like, oh, yes, boy, yeah, that's a shelf, oh, yes, boy, it's a nice, nice shelf. And they'd look at something like that and be like, what the, f is that bad? <laughs> You know, it probably wouldn't get it, but. So has your art helped you through the pandemic? For sure, for sure, yeah. I mean, my wife had to shut down her business for a while, so she made a garden. <laughs> she started growing vegetables. I mean, I'm well with the government, so we didn't have much time off, but... Uh, at first, we were we were shut down for like two weeks where we didn't go in every day, and this definitely definitely helped keep my sanity. Uh, I mean, I could come out here and just spend hours just just pass away, and I don't even know it, you know. So yeah, definitely, uh, it's definitely a way to pass away the time if you're not allowed to go anywhere. Either way, as long as I'm doing something creative, at least on the weekends, it kind of gives. It just gives everything meaning, I guess. I mean, obviously sometimes I can go in my truck and look for driftwood, but sometimes I'll take my boat, go out on the beach, there's literally one piece of driftwood, and that's the one I want. And I don't know until I see it. And every piece of driftwood does have a story. It, it could have came from across the ocean. It could have came from, you know, someone could have chopped it down and threw it in the ocean, and, or the tide could have just dragged it out, or. Could have came from England, it could have, I mean, Driftwood does have a story. It was a tree, it was a lie, you know? I, I just feel like I'm adding the next chapter to that, I guess.